Alrighty, so today we are going to be making a DIY cholesterol hair treatment. So last time I promised one of you that I'm going to be making a DIY version of it. You can definitely go ahead and buy those cholesterol hair treatment if you guys want to. However, I do want to make a DIY version of it because I know that some of you would like to make this at home. So just in case if you all are not familiar of what a cholesterol hair treatment is. I'm gonna read the details about the benefits of using cholesterol hair treatment for the hair. Now it says here that cholesterol treatment for the hair helps in repairing and restoring moisture in damaged and dehydrated hair. This treatment is generally used to help restore hair's natural moisture. The other benefit of the cholesterol hot oil treatment is that it brings back the sheen making your hair look better and healthier than earlier. This treatment is actually great to use if you are frequently using heat on your hair or if your hair is chemically processed then your hair could definitely benefit from this. Alright so let's go ahead and get started and, and make this hair treatment. So the first and the main ingredient is using mayo because one of the oldest forms of cholesterol is mayonnaise and I've read that back in the 1950s when the heat styling tools were first made public, hair was conditioned with mayonnaise bought from stores or homemade ones using oils and eggs. So we're going to be using mayonnaise because mayo provides softness, sheen, and luster back to dry and damaged hair. The next one is almond oil and as I've said, this oil is one of my favorite oils to moisturize and soften the hair and every single time I use this, my hair feels butter soft after. And then the other oil is olive oil oil and this is optional but I like adding this because this is extremely moisturizing for the hair and it is great to use for dry hair. Okay so in a bowl I will add in one cup of mayo and then three tablespoons of almond oil and also three tablespoons of olive oil. After that I will mix everything in And this is our very own DIY cholesterol hair treatment. Okay, you guys, this is actually the second time that I'm going to be using this mask and I can tell you that it is amazing. However, though, if you don't like the smell of mayo, that would be an issue for you. But overall, it's really good for the hair. And you should put this in places to where you really need moisture or let's say your ends. If you're trying to restore back the life of your ends, this would be really great to put as well. I like how I'm just using a spoon for all of this. It seems legit. But you guys know me already. You have seen my weirdness, okay? My hair, no, it is stuck on my spoon. No, I think it was Julia Roberts, the celebrity who was, um, okay, okay, who was known to apply mayo on her hair. <laughs> and before I thought that was just weird, but now here I am. <laughs> Look what I'm doing. So I've officially coated my whole entire hair with the mayo, olive oil, and almond mixture. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put my hair in a plastic bag and then I'm gonna let it stay on my hair for 15 minutes. Um, I'm not gonna lie, my hair right now smells like a salad. I feel like all I need is just lettuce, tomato, you know, all of the vegetables to make a good salad. Anyway, so I'm going to leave this on my hair for 15 minutes and then I'm going to be washing it with my shampoo. I'm going to use my non-sulfate shampoo and see if that works best. So I'll do that and I will be right back. Here is the result on my hair and I know probably some of you are so sick and tired of me saying like, oh my gosh, this works so well for my hair. It's just amazing. My hair looks so stuff and shiny. But you know what? It really, really does. Every single time I use mayo on my hair, it makes my hair appear more straight and also as I've said it does make your hair shiny I mean Julia Roberts wasn't wrong when she said <laughs> that using mayo on your hair is really good the thing about using mayo on your hair though is that it can leave a 
a salad smell on your hair if you don't wash it properly or if you leave it too long on your hair. The 15 minutes of the mayo nesting on your hair is enough because I feel like if you go beyond that or to some people they leave it overnight and I've tried leaving it overnight on my hair. I mean the result was great. My hair was really soft and shiny but my hair smelled like sandwich for days even though I shampooed my hair um, two times already to the point that I really had to use ACV rinse, apple cider vinegar rinse and shampoo my hair twice again just to get rid of the smell. So I think that the 15 minute mark of leaving the mayo on your hair is good but don't go beyond that. Adding in the almond oil and the olive oil has also made my hair really soft and smooth as well and I do like how it gives your hair that extra shine. So I hope you guys try this out and let me know in the comments down below if you are an avid user of mayo on your hair or if you think that idea is bizarre and crazy. Let me know in the comments down below and as usual if you like this video Please give me the uh, what? No. If you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up and share it to a friend if you found it valuable. And I will see you on my next one. Bye.